I am really grateful to be one of the presenters today because this project is is like at the very, very beginning. And I'm going to be welcoming any ideas from from other folks. And um, it's um, really about the status. It's, it's really the plans for an investigation into the status and pollination biology of a, of a rare plant known near Castle Valley, near Moab, where I live, named after our Lifetime Achievement Award-winning Leila Schultz and her husband, uh, John. This is its kind of habitat that isn't um, Schultz's blazing star in the lower right. And so this is our, this is our um, plant that we're looking at. Um, it's um, um, in a section of the Loisaceae uh, called Bartonia, which really is um, known to be really taxonomically difficult. It does a polymorphic populations. It's a lack of distinct character characteristics, so, characters. So it, it's a tribute to um, it's a tribute to Leela for noticing that she had a, a slightly different uh, menzelia when she saw it, because it's a matter of a combination of character states rather than having distinct characterist, uh, characteristics. And it has apparently diversified fairly rapidly and um, hybridization may be involved as well. It's really rare. There's uh, Leela found two populations, and they're in circled there in the map in Grand County, and around that is um, the symbols for three other Menzelia species that are also on these um, clay substrates and pretty pretty isolated. And then there's the climate crisis it faces as well as its rarity. Um, looking back to 1900, um, this is the Palmer Drought Severity Index, and 15 of the last 20 years have been below average for precipitation. And then looking again from 1900 to now, we've seen uh, the average. This is not. Um, this is this is average for the year. Um, temperature just uh, inexorably rise. And then we don't know its pollinator. Um, I'm interested in how it, it's faring physiologically with the, with the climate change, but I'm also interested in, in how is whatever, whoever pollinates it um, doing. Um, Lila and I were doctoral students at, at the Santa, same time at Rancho Santa Ana Botanic Gardens as, as was Susan Meyer. And um, while, while they were both um, whizzes at taxonomy, I, I wasn't. So I took refuge in pollination research of about just 20 plants up in the San Bernardino National Forest. And um, one possibility of a pollinator for uh, Schultz's blazing star might be one of the 630 species of the genus Perdita um, in, um, in the Andrenidae um, family of um, Andrenidae of the bees. They're, they're small bees that are native to North America. They're particularly diverse in the desert regions of US and Mexico. And most of the species are extreme specialists or oligoles with respect to pollen and will only connect, collect pollen from a few closely related species and genera of plants. Many species in the genus um, are referred to as fairy bees with their pale color. In 1988, Terry Griswold and Frank Parker of the USDA Ag Research Services Bee Biology and Systematics Lab at U Utah State University, and I, I suppose most of you know that's the only 
um, bee lab of five that are in the US that focus on native bees. So we're extraordinarily fortunate that way. Um, but in 1988, um, Terry and Frank described two new Perdida species on Menzelia. One, Perdita multiflore, um, which I don't have a photo of, I only have a, a video of it, um, was found in the San Rafael Swell, about 60 miles west of where Menzelia Sheltiorum is, and about 16 miles west of, of Green River. And um, it was this Perdita multiflore was um, found on a Menzelia species. And so when, uh, but when Terry looked in collections of Perdita, which are taxonomically um, difficult, um, he found one that was misidentified and got a second species out of um, looking for whether this, uh, whether Perdita multiflore was a, a, a new species. And so then, um, Vince Tepidino, who was, is a retired bee taxonomist from the bee lab at Logan, um, thought of um, determining, he, 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 he considered studying the pollination biology of Shelton's blazing star, but didn't, went some other direction. And he wonders if it might be um, a Perdita bee. Now, in the same region, near Castle Valley in the Moab group of Joan Cycladini, of which Jennifer Lewinson spoke this morning, um, Vince published an article noting the low rate of seed set of Joan Cycladini and wondered if in fact it had lost its specialized pollinator. So I'm gonna be interested in, um, it, it sounds like John Spence has some references that refer to observations of pollinators at Jones Cycladenia um, um, further south or further west, but I'll be interested. Um, but it's an interesting issue, a rare plant in the same desert area that is experiencing low reproduction. And the photo on the left is, is um, a picture of Jones Cycladenia in a wash on the west side of Castle Valley where I often walk. It's the only population um, right there in that wash and it's totally shown in that one area. And I walk there often and I've never seen any seed set. Um, so, um, oops, excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, so there's the plan. This year uh, for um, Schultz's Blazing Star, revisit the sites that we know of and the surrounding area, map each plant, visit regularly during flowering season, which is later in the summer, August and September, count the flowers, observe visitation with least disturbance. I look on it as a first year of looking at this um, and see if there's any seed set and, and measure that. And then, you know, why this plant? There's so many rare plants and why this pollinator? And like politics, I think all science is personal. And in this case, it's near my home and I don't know how it's doing. It's named for Leela and John Schultz, whom I um, love. It's one of 12 eventual stories about actually about why honeybee apiaries should not be being permitted on BLM and Forest Service lands. I, some of you may have read Vince Tepidino's article in the fall 2020 Seagull Lily about this whole issue. Um, not that these, these um, uh, not that Schultz's blazing star is where cattle are grazing, I believe it's not. Um, but this whole issue of what do you do when there's a rare plant, it has a specialized pollinator, and the permitting of honeybee hives, many of them um, in one spot, overwhelm species and, and compete for limited sources of pollen? Um, what is the ultimate um, 
impact on, on rare plants. And as we know, both rare plants and their pollinators need witnesses. Um, I'm hoping to get a Whitman College intern this yeah, summer okay. for 10 weeks. And then there are people with experience who I can draw upon who care about both the blazing star and its uh, pollination. Um, and I'm grateful to all of them. And there's Leela's uh, dog Jackson in Habitat for Schultz's Blazing Star. So that's the presentation. And I don't know if anyone has, um, I'm gonna be, there's my email. I'm happy if anyone has suggestions or information, I'm gonna be trying to um, contact John Spence and see what he knows about um, pollination of, of Cycladenia and so on.